beautiful king, excellent God, I bow before your throne, glorious God, beautiful king, excellent God, I bow before your throne. Bow before your throne, worship at your feet. Bow before your throne, you are a glorious God. Bow before your throne, worship at your feet. Bow before your throne. You are a glorious God, glorious, glorious God, excellent God, wonderful King, I bow before your throne, glorious God, excellent King. Wonderful God, I bow before your throne. Father, I worship you. Father, I bless your name. Father, oh, I honor you. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the times I haven't honored you. I'm sorry for the times I have disobeyed. I am sorry for the times I haven't been prompt to do what you asked me to, including this book review, Father. Yes. There's no point in me singing or saying something. I don't respect it means I don't have reverence for you father I don't consider you sacred enough to run my prompt obedience hey papa I'm sorry papa have a seat Jesus I'm sorry Spirit, I'm sorry. Come and help your girl. In Jesus name Amen. good evening my tribe yeah I own up I was to do this book review before the month of April runs out to whom much is given much is expected and I, and I honestly I admit I became familiar with God and thought where he will understand and this is exactly what this book is talking about and so when I was having a nap I just just it just came back to my mind and the things I had to say was coming and it was like 6 p.m. should not meet you when you have not yet sat in front of that laptop 6 p.m. should not meet you when you have not yet sat in front of that laptop Yes, yesterday you went to Boya, you went and did some work there, la 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 la. What about today? What about today? April has come and gone, right? And when the Lord starts rebuking you like that, silently in your own mind, in your own spirit, if you ignore the next thing, 
either he's rejoined or the holy spirit is giving you a knock somewhere something is going to happen you don't want to find out now this is not really how i wanted to start this review frankly speaking but when the holy spirit takes over the holy spirit takes over and it's on me first of all i'm the one the holy spirit is knocking i am the one now any other person could also identify themselves in this I first um, read this book in 2019. I think it's the same year that the pastor published the book. And before I read this book, hey God, oh. was it 2019 or 2021? I can't remember, but I think it should be 2021. Sorry, yeah, because that's when I started going there in 2021 yes i got it in 2021 yet the holy spirit talked to me about this book not necessarily from that church or from this pastor but he talked to me about familiarity he gave me a lesson on it and told me that when i would go back to church i will have to go and kneel down in front of the pastor in in, in an act of total submission it did not make sense to me and i tried to fight it and I, but i did it that day i actually remember doing it at the end of the service because i i, I was playing and playing and playing and wondering oh my god and i did not say nothing i just went and knelt down and it, it was this very pastor i would have done it anywhere i went to not because i am i am worshiping that man but because I am honoring the sacredness of his calling, of his caller. This book is about um what does Pastor say? One of this one of the serious scourges that undermines our churches today. You know, I said here that um familiarity is it's when we we think that we know too much. It's a disease, actually. One of the ways he puts it in the book is that it's a disease that causes people to lose reverence for the sacred. And in the book, this is the book here. Uh, I'm about wrapping up a second study of the book. And I use pen and pen and pen. Some of these small books here is what we call Petit Piment in French. Small pepper. It is so convicting that you cannot run through it in one day. Or even in one month or one week you 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 take your time you study you pray you fast you go back you and then you fall again and then you look at me this is me actually i had to do this book review before the end of the month of april what, what did i do during the month of april as in book review it, and it's not a matter of what did i do. i have done many things but were those the things god wanted me to do yes and no or maybe not and not and all of that i just you can't look at it that way that will actually mean that i'm i'm i'm, I'm taking and becoming familiar and i think that i know the way god operates and the way you know sometimes you say i know the way god works with me i know the way you can never know it all and if you dare consider god your mate the day he will remind you that he's almighty god the day Jesus will remind you that he's not just your savior, but he's your Lord. That is if you have made him your Lord and savior. So he's not just your savior, he's your Lord. And what do you do to a Lord? You lay it all down and you obey and you respect and you. And if your Lord puts some other person over you, for example, gives you a shepherd after his own heart, your pastor, what do you do? Either you are following your shepherd you are obeying or you say father i don't want me that shepherd again oh this is what the shepherd is doing to me let the lord give you another shepherd but you cannot be under a shepherd and then you are being stubborn how do you want him to shepherd you then he's going to use the rod and the staff on you those are the kind of things he looks at in his book and he looks he uses examples from the bible to show us how whenever people you know 
overstep the boundary of yeah god is a loving god god is a full of compassion god oh god <laughs> my sister princess clinton she does bible a chapter a day bible party and today she started the book of zephania and my god zephania's own message hey i'm not even sure that any of the other ones have studied had that kind of wild message like god is a consuming fire can you imagine that same god who is saying return to your first love and who is you know oh he told oh my god i read somewhere I, I think in the book of judges or maybe before and the lord was telling the people oh he just wants them to come back they should just turn away no he's yeah he did this because they were having a whole conversation and debate now god is no nonsense in this book of zephania so that is the same god that is the god who just caused the earth to open and just swallowed Korah and the sons of is that same god who just wiped out Sodom and gomorrah is that same god who just dealt with ananias and Sapphira? so oh, the faces of god the lion the eagle the man the this the that so you can never know him all many have lost their spiritual inheritance and many lose several blessings which would have come their way due to this plague of familiarity wow and he's, he he looks at three three areas we should be we should be careful about or we should watch for and we are we are lucky we are not lucky we are blessed we have the holy spirit to help us me yeah, i'm just like hey holy spirit help me help me not to take god to be my maid that means god the father god the son god the holy spirit that means that the same holy spirit will help me not to take him to be my mate yes jesus is my friend my best friend oh there's time to be serious so how do you do that you pray you ask for help you study now the sacred man of god yeah there might be charlatans out there but you can pray for a spirit of discernment and when the lord himself reveals to you this is you will know your spirit don't take this man of god for granted and when i say man i mean man and woman look past that stage don't i have my pastors i have my bishop i uh uh look my pastors before i started going to their church i started submitting i just knew the wife she was i could consider her a friend but once i started going there i just knew the holy spirit those are not your friends anymore they are your pastors honor to whom honor is due you treat a prophet you you receive a prophet oh my god you do what i don't care me what people say i i i am not on a journey with another person the same journey so i have passed that level nursery school uh, and then you know i don't know I, I i i grew up watching you know people just being friends anyhow and just i i was also friends with with them in that other place where i was you know i mean friends to the point of becoming even intimate which was so wrong i mean sinful and everything so i also know that you can get burnt when you get too close and then now that i even know that you can lose out imagine what the people of nazareth they lost the, the because they thought that they knew jesus is this not a carpenter's son he talks about it in this and we see it in uh, uh, matthew chapter 13 yeah matthew chapter 13 verse 58 you know after jesus has taught parables and everything he has done the signs and wonders and everything and uh, all of that and then he goes to his village man oh do they know him who is this one ah uh, look at me this child oh hey what i start from verse 53 when jesus had finished telling these stories and illustrations he left that part of the country he returned to nazareth his hometown that's here for you you think they will welcome you the heroes welcome <laughs> even in your own house anywhere huh? who is this one oh hola ha 
You think they'll give you a no if you're coming with bags of money, you've won a medal, you are oh, 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 you're coming to flash the money, the cars, the oh just bring it on. Oh, we'll receive you. Well, but if you are coming to say what well, repent, the kingdom of God is close at hand. That what are you talking about? Oh, you say I am the bread of life. No comes to the father except to me. Hey, I am the way the truth. What? Who is this one? So when he taught there in the synagogue, everyone was amazed and said, Ha! Ah, where does he get his wisdom and the power to do miracles? See me, oh, ah, this should be fake. He has probably gone to the marine kingdom. You know, that's what they say these days now. Ah, then they scoffed. He's just the carpenter's son and we know Mary, his mother and his brothers. Ha! Ah, ah, all his sisters live right here among us. Ha! Ah, where did he learn all these things you see for them they think that he has learned them from somewhere and they are like no 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 and they were deeply offended and refused to believe in him deeply that's what verse 57 said deeply offended hey is it taking us for granted you know in french you say it's a prampu key so this is the mem key it's all do who are you from who are you who do you take yourself for Ah, magician gimmicks you know so then jesus told them a prophet is honored everywhere except in his in his own hometown and among his own family so this is jesus who said it though since 2024 donkey years ago so oh, if you're his disciple just know that will happen to you too now until you become affluent, you know that they were, were praying each other and say, Oh, people have been bought because they didn't have money. So, yeah, somebody is praying to have money so they can show people that, Hey, yeah, me to have money today. You thought that serving God means I will die in poverty. Even if I die in poverty, so what? I don't need the validation of my family. No, I don't. I don't want them to validate me. Let them either get the message and believe in Jesus, surrender their life to Jesus. Oh, well, uh uh. I will do and I will say what I have to say and I will do what I have to do. And so he did a few miracles there because of their unbelief. He even did a few. Uh, you see, after everything, God is still God. Eh? That's very kind of him. So in this book, the pastor talks about taking God for granted. You know, when he says... Um, even Moses took God for granted. <laughs> Moses who walked with God. Moses who... Uh, uh, who was what once called the most the meekest man in the world or the most humble man whatever ah. but what did he do when the lord told him to speak to the rock what did he do why because he thought that oh the lord has used him so mightily yeah the, he's the one who parted the red sea he's the one who led the people out of egypt he's the one he's the one he's the one he's no more god i mean what what else could have come over him to make him strike the rock when the Lord said, speak to the rock. Are you, you, you mean to show what? That is your power. What do we do today? When he says, uh, uh, sit down and do this. I like, oh, I can do it tomorrow. I can, you know, oh. call this person and talk to them and pray with them. Papa, if I pray quietly in my room, the, the prayer can still work. What? I remember once when he told me to call somebody at midnight and pray. I had, I had known better by that time. I just called and started to pray. I didn't say, I didn't ask questions. I didn't say nothing. And when I finished praying by 5 a.m., they wrote to me thanking me and telling me stuff. Had I not called them because I am, I started thinking, ah, Papa, what kind of an hour is this to call somebody? Call them and pray because I'm what? At that time, I didn't even know how to pray as much as I do today. You know, I'd be like, ah, Papa, what are they? You know, somebody would think like, hey, 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 they will say Maria Banga has lost it. This is somebody who was there a few years ago blasting and saying she doesn't want to catch a man of God. Blah, 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 blah. Now she's the one to be calling people at midnight to pray. <laughs> so that is it. You you cannot. You knew you cannot. What, what, what one of the examples my pastor uses here? <laughs> Is that um, he, he, the, oh, he, he talks about different ways people? Uh, oh my God! People, people undermine servants of God. You know, for example, they say 
uh, he did not even preach well. Well, I know, I know what he's going to say. I, I know him now. Ah, uh, we went to the same um, secondary school. Ah, uh, nah, that one. Where, where can he have? Ah, uh, what better thing can he say today? You know, scripture, for example, the Bible is sixty-six books. So you you can finish all the books and then start again and you have to keep teaching people people forget things even in school repetition after revision after what you don't call it even writing a um, dictation all of that just so that people you am i not studying the bible like i'm with my church i'm now in the book of i think we'll be starting somewhere with my sister I means a me myself with my own devotion time anyone that Lord is I study. I've done New Testament a few times. I did, I never knew I'll get to this point before with that. Ah, cover to cover. And I'm learning new things all the time. You know, I join people who are praying and sometimes they read from some scripture and I'm like, huh? What's that? What? And then I even meditate upon it. And the next day I meditate again. So you can never know too much. So even that person you are seeing today and thinking that ah, I know this. Ah, Maria, I know her. I know Bishop Berry. Ah. You don't even call them bishop. Bishop what? Ah, I know her. You know, I cannot even call her name like that. But you know, people who might have grown up with her, maybe went to the same school with her, the same class and everything. Yeah, it's their age mate now. So now it's just Maria Banga. Yeah, I know her. What? Evangelist man. Ah, I beg. You know? And then when you want to even make like you want to remind people, you know, sometimes people want to play too much with you and you're like, or they want to, they just call you, they just want to see you and all of those things. And, you are withdrawing like me for example this year i am really because this is my year of acceleration so there's no time i actually left my class meeting and in short i don't go no socializing all of those things seriously it is limited to minus zero even let me be honest with myself and it will be like this for the rest of this year and i'm okay with it so anybody who thinks oh they knew that maria banga used to be the life of the party oh what does maria banga want to now i know maria bah, 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 bah. that is on them and of course you marry maria banga radical bah, 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 bah. yes there's a time for that but there's a time when you need to know you know and this is just me i'm just simple me uh what do i do what uh what signs and wonders can i play who, who am i but just imagine someone like moses that same moses again moses took god for granted he got his, his his knock on his head never got into the promised land yet when miriam and aaron his own siblings took him also for granted and murmured against him the lord dealt with them how dare you who gives you the audacity even if he is your kid brother even if you're the one who put him in a basket or took him to the river even if you aaron you were his mouthpiece or uh, who gave you the order yes he married an HP. he was not supposed to. i gave that instruction i will do did you come and talk to me did you even talk to him yourself reverently you murmured you gossip even if you live with the pastor in his house so what gives you that audacity or because you have seen him brush his teeth or because you have seen him eat or because he's he tells you stories once in a while or because you need to pray to get that balance and then the things of god the things in and the things of god i mean the things we use to worship him it's not about the music yet music is also one of the ways to ways we worship so the drum don't just go and be hitting the thing anytime anyhow you know learning do you know, just sit on the chair and turn the thing upside down the church is dead to you don't sweep because oh uh, my whole lawyer can i be sweeping uh, that's not me i'm just using that example i have no problem with sweeping washing toilet those are my favorite things to do anyway in the house of god that's me i'm not saying everybody has to do that yet what what is wrong in it one day my my daddy my my daddy told me that my daddy is also a pastor spiritual father he said he was so grieved when he got to church and the flowers had died because nobody had watered them and i was like maybe they have to assign somebody in particular you who wants to water the flowers i heard a story about a woman who was so a big woman you know a ceo or something something she went to a church and she said hey, i've come to say and then they told her oh we just needed somebody in the nursery or in the children's you know stuff like that 
And she went there and only that noise, bah, 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 and she was like, a whole me. I come to say I want to save. And they sent me back. That's the, oh my goodness. And the person who was saying it said, oh la la. I, it looked like the, she actually wrote it. There was an article in America that their country. Hey. So that privilege, no, 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 no. So I now see the Lord deals with me. Eh? He once told me, don't sing no song to me whose words you don't mean. That's why when I started singing, I worship you. Yeah, okay, fine. I, I, I praise your name, fine. I honor you do. 100%. Stop there. Stop. Examine yourself. Ah, may the good Lord help us. So these are some examples that um, Pastor Valerie talks about in the book. He looks at the history of Lucifer. He talks about Samson. He talks about Moses, as I talked about Moses. He talked about Jesus, right? Uh huh. And Elisha and Gehazi. That one is like Gehazi. Oh God! He went and carried the posse because he wanted to go behind his man of God, right? And go and collect gifts. Hey, God help us, because that is also lack of reverence. You, you, you think, oh. He does, what does that man know? He doesn't even know nothing. Look at so much money that he's letting go like that just because, hey, he did not even go out to see the man. The man came from Syria, a whole general with all kinds of things. And he just told him to go and bathe in the river. And then he's not collecting. He does not know that God is, God is not about the money and all of those things. God can give you until you not even know what to do with it. So just obey him. And don't be greedy. And if your man of God did not go out, you, whom they sent to just go and give an instruction, what is it now with a long eye to run and go back again after to go and collect cargo? Cargo that would perishable finish. Ah, yeah. So he talks about um, five things everyone should know about familiarity and the different groups of people who are often affected by familiarity. And signs of familiarity, consequences of familiarity, and how to combat familiarity. I mean, seriously. Ah, God, help me. I'm going on a third read, and I am just like, every place is marked, bent. My second ledger is finished. <laughs> oh, my God. I found the receipt of the first time I went and bought a ledger. And the pen that the Lord said blue and red pen and marker. And where I went to the bookshop, he sent me to. Whereas there was a bookshop in front of my house. He said I should go to press book up and I should walk on foot to go. Ah, they say journey. But you know, when you obey like that, because familiarity also means don't take it for granted and do what he says you should do and all of that. Then when the blessings are coming, sometimes people will be like, eh, yeah, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> they don't know your work with him. Oh. And also the way you revere God. Because when they say fear of God, it means reverence and you cannot not have reverence for god he's not your mate as much as he's a loving loving father he's, a, he's also a very righteous god he is holy and without holiness no one can see god that's in the bible so we better just put on the <laughs> jesus owner for your back at the hand and then you respect him. The woman would touch his cloak. She did not pull it in a way that he could chip. She did not just fling. God. Hey, may the good Lord help us. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you for helping me. Hey, my heart was already pounding. Oh, my God. Father, thank you. Yes, I know the message of the cross is it's like foolishness to those who don't believe. Those who do, will do and will understand. Okay, Father, grant us understanding more and more. Holy Spirit, give us wisdom. Help us, help me. As I prepare to go for the first part of this mission. My only hope is you. Jesus, my only hope is you. From early in the morning till late at night, 
My only hope is you. And you cannot hope in him. And then you don't fear him. You don't have reverence for him. You say King Jesus. But I treat him as a king. May the good Lord help us so. Father, thank you. My God, Holy Spirit, thank you. Yeah. I obey. That's what I have to wear to go to church on Sunday. When did he show me that? Today or yesterday? Whether I like it, I don't like it. Oh, uh, that's why he says I should put on. And if you want to know how he speaks to you, pray. Ask him to speak to you and to teach you all the ways because it's not going to be just one way. It's a beautiful journey, yet you have to be very careful on that journey. Don't be tempted to treat your Lord and your King like your mate. No. Jesus can be a good friend, and yet Jesus did not go through all what he went through like that so that we just take him for granted. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> anyway, okay.